I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a text overlay in Affinity Photo um, using a wall of text. And you can see here on the right hand side in my layers palette, I've got two layers already. Uh, I've got a text layer, which is just a wall of text uh, that was generated using one of the online word cloud text generators. Uh, and I've got a photo underneath that that's got you know some really high contrast. Now before we, get, we begin, one of the things that I want to do is uh, using the original photo which I've got open in a separate tab. I'm going to create a new live filter layer and I'm going to select Gaussian Blur. I'm going to adjust the radius up to about 5. I'm going to close this. You can see it's got a nice blur. It softened everything up. Uh, and I'm going to export this out and the reason I'm doing this is so that I can use that blurred image as a displacement map for my wall of text. So I'm going to name this blur so that I know the difference between the original and the one that I've edited. And I'm going to close this tab. We don't need this anymore. Now, back in my original uh, document, the one I'm, I'm going to create the wall of text on, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my text layer. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to duplicate my background image as well. And I'm going to select the, the lowest background layer, create a new uh, pixel layer. And with the bucket tool selected and my colors over here on the right uh, set to black and white, black being the foreground, I'm going to go ahead and fill this new empty pixel layer. I like to have a good solid uh, background layer to uh, at work as a base for whatever I'm working on. Now, um, above that, we've got our background photo and, and uh, two text layers. So I'm going to turn off the topmost one. With the photo selected, I'm going to grab my magic wand tool. I'm going to click outside of the uh, face area. And on the layer above, on the text layer, I'm going to press the delete key. And you can see now we've got text in there. So I'm going to deselect with Command D. And I'm going to add a new layer, a live filter layer. I'm going to select the displace filter. And you can see here we've got some options. The two that I'm going to use are strength and the option to load a map from file. I'm going to select that blurred image that I created. Click open. And instead of using the slider to adjust the amount of distortion, I'm going to select the text and use my arrow keys just to tap up one pixel at a time until I can see some warping of the edges of the text. And that looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. The other thing I'm going to do is select that masked image now. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to mask to below. And now you can see you've got the uh, text is the only thing showing and the image is showing through that and it's uh, displaced around the edges based on that blur map that we selected. Now the uh, text layer above that, I'm going to go ahead and drag that underneath it. I'm going to turn it back on and I'm going to adjust the opacity down to let's say 10%. The other thing I'm going to do is, uh, next to the opacity, I'm going to select how the, the, actually, I'm going to select the correct layer here. Let's select the one above, change it from normal to, let's say, lighten. Uh, the other one I like is hard light or uh, vivid light. Vivid light's a little bit dark. Um, or add. Add is another good one. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And there you go. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.